and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the tile clones. It's a nice function. Let us first create some guides. We need the snapping and make sure these two icons are active so that we can snap the center. If you don't see your rulers just press Ctrl R. We will create two center points and now we'll create a circle. Then I press Ctrl D and I copy that for the second center. And I size that down holding shift and control. Click on it again and you get this plus sign. Drag it to the center point of the guides. So this will be our rotation center. Repeat for the second element as well. Let me select the first one on the left. Edit, clone, create tile clones. I'll click on reset. Make sure on a shift you've got these two boxes checked. So we need the exclude tile checked. We want to rotate it. How far depends on how many copies you want to have. If I want to have 12 copies, I just have to divide 360 by 12 and we get to 30 degrees. So this is our angle for per row. As column, I only have one selected. If I now click on create, we've got them all aligned in a circle fashion around our center point. I repeat for the second object. Let me select that and then I press Ctrl G to group them. Now I reset the menu. Once again, Shift, Exclude Tile. And now we go to Scale and we scale it up in the X and Y axis, let's say by 15%. For the angle, let me choose 5 for now. But I only want to have 7 copies. Now Create. If you don't like what you've got, just press Ctrl Z. And let me try 10 degrees for the angle and that looks better. I'll keep that. And now I repeat the exact values for this one. And you can see that it looks different. So it's actually important which size you use for your basic unit and what's the distance for this basic unit to your center rotation point. Just try out different sizes until you've got something that you like. If you want to work further with it, just select it and then ungroup an object and afterwards path and break apart. And now you can give these circles different colors or delete individuals of them. The same goes obviously for the one on the right hand side. Make sure that you get rid of the stroke, so if there's a stroke involved, it might cause some glitches. Depending on what stroke it is, I guess I've got a dotted stroke selected here. So just select it all, hold shift, click on the X to get rid of the stroke. But this is how you can use this tile clone menu to create these logo designs in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.